Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mom Impressions. Today we're looking at Blade Assault. This is a 2D action roguelite. It's currently in early access and will be released on June 7th, 2021. We'll be discussing what the game is, deep diving into some features and mechanics, and my overall thoughts on if I recommend it or not. Blade Assault goes for $17.99 US and will be available on Switch, PlayStation, and Windows Mac OS. I played it on Steam. It was developed by Team Sun Eats and published by by Neo Wiz. Blade Assault is a 2D action roguelite platformer with beautiful pixel art set in a desolate sci-fi world. Fight against the corrupt military of Esperanza as part of the resistance force of the Undercity. Bring the corrupt to justice by becoming stronger and fighting alongside your trusty comrades. As usual, if you're interested in watching the playthroughs of any game I review, including this one, then head on over to my Let's Play YouTube channel, Mobby vs. Games VOD, and follow me on Twitch to catch our live streams. All links are in the description. If I were to describe Blade Assault to someone who's never heard of it, I'd say the closest games I can compare it to would be something along the lines of Dead Cells, Hades, and Risk of Rain 2. There are many mechanics inspired by those games implemented here, some that work and well some that need a bit more polish but overall it's something worth checking out. You play as Kill, an exiled mercenary of the evil army corporation in the sky city Esperanza. You are in the middle of being executed for fighting back against their beliefs but have escaped barely with your life. You are rescued by the residents of the Undercity and with their help you are tasked with journeying through many biomes in order to reach Esperanza and destroy your former boss and father figure. Story aside, Blade Assault is a very well made roguelite with familiar mechanics taken from the best that the genre has to offer. There's a lot of features here that I can cover but we'll go over the most used and unique ones. To start off with, with being a roguelite, you can expect to start runs, play for about 20 to 50 minutes depending on your speed and playstyle, then die or finish a run, then repeat with new perma upgrades and new challenges. Let's start with the controls and go from there. Being a 2D action platformer, it was very important that they get the feeling of complete control of your character right. They managed to do well here, jumping, dodging, and the overall smoothness of the game just feels right. Each run starts off with you and your base slash hub. You choose your starting weapon and modifications. You then jump into a teleporter and begin the run. The format is as such. Each room you defeat enemies, take the rewards, and interact with optional loot chests and special kiosk. The mark of a great roguelite, in my opinion, is how each run can feel vastly different depending on your choices. There are many artifacts to obtain that increase your skills in various ways. For example, consumables to increase crit chance, passes for decreasing damage taken, and even new active skills to play around with. Between each room, you have options for which paths to take. These can range from elemental or health upgrades. Just like in Hades, you can alter your existing skills and obtain new ones completely. Your weapon and skills can be imbued with many status effects ailments on enemies like burning and freezing. Aside health, you have a mana pool which recovers when attacking enemies and special upgrades. Mana is used to activate your weapon skills. You have a primary weapon skill depending on which one you choose to start off with and a sub one that is universal starting off with but changing throughout the run. After a couple of rooms you fight a boss. If you're able to defeat them you obtain permanent currencies that are used in between runs. After losing a run you are sent back to the hub to start again and upgrade your characters. Back in base you can unlock new weapons to start off with, increase weapons, passive effects, upgrade attack, defense and support skills, and even NPC relationships. These all have their own benefits like lowering shop costs and offering better gear during runs. There are multiple characters to unlock, all of which have their own skills to upgrade and weapons to mess around with. Even though this is an early access game, it seems like there is quite a bit of content already here for you to play with. There are some things I want to mention though. The game can be a little hectic at times with this being a 2D fast paced game. Enemies can sometimes stack on one another, making it really hard to dodge accordingly. I do have to give them credit though, however, I do like how each enemy has a telegraph for when they're about to launch an attack. For example, they will glow white or red depending on if they have stagger invincibility. The longer you take in rooms, you increase the assault level, which just like Whisker Rain, enemies get harder to kill over time. There are special enemy modifiers like explode, having shields, etc. The game was a bit hard to look at starting out. There's a lot of action on the screen at once and I would have preferred bigger sprites but after a while they grow on you and they do look pretty good zoomed in. Another thing that needs to be addressed are upgrades and interactions. What I mean by that is it's sometimes hard to tell if the artifact I'm about to pick up is a new skill entirely or modifying a current one. 
It's sometimes spelled out for you, but other times I had to sit back and think about it. Another tiny thing that you can improve is comparing upgrades. For example, you could pick up an upgrade that gives you 20% more damage. Then you find the next upgrade that says it's increased by 25 more damage. It's a warning issue that can confuse players, but it, it can easily be remedied by just showing the previous upgrade 20% and showing a 5% increase to 25% visually. Other than that, Assault Blade is a very good game, and yes, it does take inspiration from previously mentioned roguelite games but it's different enough to stand out on its own it's early access but i'd like to play even more of it right now add a bit more content in terms of items and upgrades implement some more quality of life features and this could be a classic title for sure remember all the footage you saw today was taken straight from my let's play channel where you can watch all of the assault blade gameplay i've uploaded make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos thanks i'll see you guys next time <laughs> Oh, go, man. <laughs> ah, no. Dick. All right, we're doing great. Dude, dude, dude. Look at the frost attack. It's sometimes hitting. It's really nice. Oh, my God. Shoot all of it already, dude. It's over, son. Freaking get him! Ugh, ugh. Why would you die? <sighs> oh, so much loot! Is it the ice? Reduces damage by five percent. Adds cold. No, we're not redoing it. Frost arrows are upgraded to spears. They push them back. I got it. Oh my god.